Welcome to Stay Brainy, Stay Curious. Whether you're chuckling over a clever wordplay or scratching your head in pursuit of the elusive solution, the journey through riddles and puzzles is a delightful roller coaster ride that effortlessly fuses entertainment and education. So, are you ready for that ride? Let's go! First up is a classic Find the Odd One Out. You've got five different fruits, and your job is to figure out which one doesn't belong. It's the watermelon. At first glance, your clue for the watermelon being the odd one out might have been the green rind, making it the only non-red fruit when it's uncut. But if you think about it, apples come in various shades including green and yellow. The real reason why the watermelon doesn't belong is in the spelling of its name. You see, all the other fruits have at least one double letter. Apple has double P, and raspberry, strawberry, and cherry all have double R. Watermelon is the only fruit that doesn't have a double letter in its name. Aha! Uh -huh. This one is a fun little brain teaser. Can you spot the pattern and figure out what number goes in place of the question mark? Are you ready for the answer? Okay, so look. If we take the three numbers from the top of the triangles and add them together, we'll get an even 100. The same will happen when we add the three numbers from the left vertices. Let's check. 28 plus 64 is 92. 92 plus 8 is 100. Nice! That means that the three numbers from the right vertices also have to add up to 100. 16 plus 32 is 48. 100 minus 48 is 52. So our missing number is 52. It's ribbis time! Can you deduce what country this puzzle represents? What did you get? Let's check if you're correct. Looks like the first picture represents a color palette, so color. But we need to take away or. Now we're left with call. Next, looks like we've got a bomb. Take away the B and we've got om. And the last picture is a picture of a chia seed pudding, so the word must be chia. CH is crossed out, leaving us with ia. Let's put all of that together. Call plus om plus ia. Colombia. Brilliant! Next up, we've got a beautifully written riddle. Listen to this. I am forever in motion, never taking a walk. A constant murmur, never engaged in talk. A bed is my domain, yet slumber I never greet. A mouth is present, yet no meals I'll ever eat. What am I? It's a river! A river is always in motion, quietly murmuring. And if you recall from geography, a riverbed is the ground over which a river usually flows, and a river mouth is where a river flows into a larger body of water. Wow! Next up, the ever entertaining matchstick puzzle. Let me give you a quick recap. As you can see, this equation here is totally wrong. You need to find one matchstick which you can move to somewhere else in the equation to make it correct. No taking away a matchstick and no placing a match across the equal sign. So, do you know which matchstick to move?
all you need to do is take the top vertical matchstick from the first five and shift it over to the right, making it a three. Now the equation reads three plus two equals five, which is very much correct. This one was an easy one, right? Now we're gonna test your math skills. Let's see if you remember the basic rules of algebra, because you'd be surprised how many people actually got this wrong. Okay, before we get solving, I feel like we need to quickly refresh our memory on the order of operations. Simply follow BIDMIS, also known as PEMDAS in the States. Always start with solving brackets first, then move on to exponents, then division or multiplication, and finally addition or subtraction. It's important to note that if you have both division and multiplication, you always work from left to right. Neither takes precedence. They are of equal importance. The same goes for addition and subtraction. All right, now that we've got that covered, we can actually solve the equation. We have both division and multiplication in this problem, both of which take priority over addition. Working from left to right, we're going to solve 10 divided by 2 first. That's 5. Then we move on to the multiplication. 2 times 2 is 4. We now have 5 plus 4, and that's 9. The correct answer to this equation is 9. Mind you, this is an uber easy equation. Stay with us though, because we'll soon hit you with a much trickier one. Now I'm going to challenge you with this awesome brain teaser. Looking at the numbers in front of you, can you figure out what number should go in place of the question mark? Ready to be mind blown? All right, check this out. You see this two and this one? Add them together and what do you get? Three. Well, look what's here, a three. Let's check the next row to see if this pattern works. One plus three should be four. Yep, we've got a four. Let's continue. Three plus four is indeed seven. One plus seven is eight, correct. So our number in question must be equivalent to four plus eight, which is 12. This is what's called non-verbal reasoning and is often given on IQ tests to determine cognitive abilities. Your job here is to find the pattern and figure out which figure comes next in the sequence. Let's get solving this, shall we? We're gonna start with the first column. What happens if you take the bottom shape, in this case the black triangle, and shift it all the way up? It looks like you get the exact same setup as the one in column number two. Let's keep going, yeah? Let's shift the square all the way up. Yep, perfect match with the image in column three. Let's do this one more time to confirm column number four. All right. That means the setup we're looking for is gray triangle, circle, square, and black triangle. And it looks like choice E is our answer. And here's the challenge I promised earlier. Not gonna say much about it. You know the deal. Good luck! If your answer is anything but 5, I can tell you it's wrong. Most people will make the mistake of solving this part first, because parentheses, right? Wrong. This was designed to trick you. While most of us probably know that when you have a number in front of the parentheses without any symbols, it means you have to multiply that number by whatever is inside the parentheses. But 2, open brackets, 2, and then close brackets is very different from open brackets, 2 times 2, and then close brackets. 
The latter tells you that the multiplication should take precedence, whereas the former simply tells you that the operation is a multiplication. So now that we know that these parentheses have no influence on the order of that operation, we go back to basics, meaning we solve everything from left to right. Starting with 2 times 2, we get 4. Then 4 divided by 2, that's 2. Now, 2 times 2 is 4. Next in our order is division because it has priority over the addition. 2 divided by 2 is 1. Take our 4, add 1 to it, and we get 5. And 5 is the only correct answer to this equation. Wow! And that wraps up 9 mind-bending puzzles and riddles. I hope you learned something new, I hope you had fun, and I hope you always stay brainy. Hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more mind-boggling challenges. See you again soon!